Hello everyone, welcome back, or welcome to a brand new series, I should say. We are on the Inheritance SMP, it is an Origins uh, server, and as you can see, we have done some work here. So, server has been live for maybe about a month or so, and uh, currently I am just heading back to my little underground cave database. And uh, just before we do, I want to go and just show a few things. So this here is the overworld spawn. Now, my origin is a blazeborn, and we have adapted the blazeborn. So basically, my origin was I started in the nether. I am flame resistant, poison resistant, and hunger resistant. So any effects that go and give me poison or hunger, I am immune to. And also, as I say, I can go and set on fire and won't take damage. My downside is, however, if I take off all my armor and I go and just dip a toe in this water here, you can see I've just taken some damage. Meaning I have to have a special enchant called water protection, which goes and, you know, protects me that I can go and stand in the water for a little bit or stand out in the rain and won't die. I specify the rain because, yes. I have died to the rain. So here is my little um, cave of happy. We've got a small super smelter there. We have a lava farm just producing some buckets of lava. We have a cobblestone farm. And we have the usual mess of chests. And also I need to close my hatch because... The Yay, we're going down. Apparently I'm going to go and die probably. Hang on a minute. Um, how did I face through a trapdoor? How? Oh yeah, and by the way, you can also see I've got a brand new skin for this Origins. Big shout out to Oceans, who is on the server. Who made me this skin? Um, I'm very confused. How did I face through a trapdoor? Okay, well, now i got to go mine some blocks so I can actually get myself out. Okay, blocks acquired, let's try and get out of here. So, as you may have also just seen then, um, I says my origin is a blazeborn, and we changed a few things. And at a click of a button, I started levitating and caught on fire. Now, the reason being is we actually have a custom um, origins for myself, which is the blazeborn, has it the ability of levitation and basically i can shoot fireballs so in a moment like I, I don't even know why i'm closing that up but i will in a moment i will go and show you when we have a bit more open space now i'd come over here for some scaffolding so there we go okay uh projects today as i say i will go over them soon and we first farm we made obviously always needed is an iron farm and i've used tango tech's season six design from hermitcraft now it all worked really really well apart from a massive derp on my part on my part what i went and had done this is the wrong way i went and Unfortunately, position the farm that where the zombies stand, it is on a chunk border. Now, for those of you who may not be aware, but if you go and put mobs on a chunk border, they despawn. So I built two layers of this farm, which meant I had four. Where am I going? Over there. Um, I had four zombies. And every couple of days, all of a sudden, I'd go over to the farm and it's not producing golems. It stopped producing them and I'm like, why is this? Well, the chunk border had decided to go and kill my zombies. Meaning that every few days I had to go and keep catching and naming zombies. Which, as you may know, isn't fun. So, for now, I've put that project on the back burner because basically what will need to happen is tear the whole thing down and um, rebuild it. 
So, as you can see, I'm up on the roof of the nether. You can go and see all we have over there. There is a nice pathway that leads off to a pork chop farm built by Oh The Noises. And today we are going to try and build a gold farm. So, let's get to it. Okay, so we've run out of materials. I've got to go over to the iron farm to go and pick up a bit more iron. And also, I believe my glass is there as well. So, uh, I'm going to just show you a few of the things that we go and have going for us. So, we have a little teeny tiny little mob farm. Um, just for basically the few people who play on the server, it does produce quite a bit. And as most of the time, the server is. Only the person AFKing on. Uh, not many people AFK. We go and do actually have some semi decent rates. Now, here is the monstrosity that is the failed iron farm. I don't want to go and really go into it, but as I did mention earlier in the episode, you can go and see there are no zombies. And that's the reason being is if I go F3G and you look at where their cage is, this chunk border here. Yeah, that's where they went and, you know, were. I built it on that chunk border and didn't even realize until afterwards. And uh, I now can't be bothered to change it. And I'm not going to go and deal with it. So... We're fine. Right, okay, so I got some sand, got some glass, Ooh, more glass, yay. Uh, excellent, right, okay, back to the golf farm. Okay, so as you can see, I am currently in a netherrack box. The reason being is I have run out of glass. Uh, I'm just going to go and put that back there. So we need to go and figure out where we're going for the mining desert and uh, go build a portal to it because basically... We need some glass. I have 25. I have made one of the platforms. Or one quarter of the platform. And uh, I've run out of glass. So, yeah. Let's get up here and... Uh, that's the wrong way. That's the uh, Hoglum farm made by other noises. Who's currently online? So, you may be wondering why my name there is Red. The reason being is, is because that is our Do Not Disturb. We are recording, and yeah, it, we'd, we'd like a fancier one, but for now, it's what we have. Uh, great, I have zero game sounds again. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go grab the coordinates. We're going to go over into the nether and try and find where we can make this portal. Running along, singing a song in the nether, off we go. Only a few blocks and there we are. And then minus 206. Boop. And obsidian. Ah, right. One, two, three. Did I bring spare blocks? I did. Uh... Dang it, I messed it up. And flip, 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 and up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Flip, 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 flip. Okay, now we power up. And light a portal. Oh, I love this power up. It's amazing. Right, hopefully mining desert. Yay! Subspace bubble. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a problem. Oh, wait, no. I found it. I found it. We're good. We're fine. I thought I derped up my coordinates. We didn't. We're good. I'm happy. 
We have a desert. However, the portal should have been closer. That's slightly frustrating. Oh well, so we're going to go and take my very broken spoon. Uh, we have 38. 38 durability, ladies and gentlemen. So satisfying. Right, whilst we're also here, we're going to go and grab some more cactus. And, uh, go and get some sand. Basically, until the spoon breaks. 25, uh, 25 remaining. There we go. Right, okay. Now we're going to go and just grab a little bit of cacti. There's only reason I need cacti is solely for XP. Because uh, you can smelt this stuff and get, like, a lot of XP. So, that'll do us for now. Mining desert, thank you very much. We're out. So yeah, we're going to have a massive jump cut now. Um, basically, a lot of things happened in between this last clip and the next one. Uh, ended up basically me going and getting some sand. Miss V going and helping me out and gathering a load from the mining desert. And bringing it so we could smelt it into glass. Then on the 2nd of October, we went and got together as a server and fought the dragon. So, obviously, if you want to go and watch that, it's over on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash DS9 Fireblade. We do go and do some server activities there on stream. And, uh, yeah, basically, the gold farm is done. So, as you went and saw by that quick replay mod, the farm is done. Now, some people have come across and they've put in, like, there's a little enchanting table there. This is so you can go in AFK all of your gear. And as you can see, I've been stood here a little while. I now have 130 levels. Now, as mentioned earlier, we did go and do a dragon fight the other day. Um, I haven't been to the end fully just yet. I did a little bit on stream after the dragon fight, after going and doing a little bit more work on the gold farm. And the gold farm isn't fully operational just yet. There is still some more things we need to do. So, the first thing, which is probably quite an important one, we need to go and actually fix it that the... Hang on a minute. So, let's hop up, and you can go and see some of them get a little bit stuck on corners. So, either we need to make a staircase down so they can path to me a little bit nicer, or we need to go and have it of some trap doors so they think they can walk through, but in fact they can't, and then they just fall down to the platform, path over to me, and go and give me all the juicy, juicy levels. So, as you can see... The chained aggro is working quite well. We've not obviously tested it with somebody who's in the nether, but it should work quite nicely. Now we're going to go and drop down. As you can see, there's some items still spitting and falling down the side of this scaffolding. That leads down to our storage system. Now, the storage system is just pretty much a ring of hoppers, all covered in composters, so that they don't go and cause too much lag. I have a little lava farm over there. I'll explain why when we get down here. 
but with 130 levels, I'm not going to go and do my usual drop trick. So you can see we have a ring of hoppers with these open here. That's because up where the droppers are that are dropping the items, they are perfectly in line with these hoppers. Having the cobwebs on them aligns it to the center of the block, meaning they fall accurately into the open hoppers. I'm just trying to see. There we go. Perfectly accurately into the hoppers. That then gets brought across to our Impulse SV sorting system, which then goes and sorts it into nuggets. More nuggets, more nuggets. Those are the ingots there. More ingots there. The zombie piglin heads. The zombie flesh. More zombie flesh. And then the swords go into here. Now, there is a slight issue with this one. Sometimes chickens get through and their feathers go and come through into here and block it up. But 90% of the time, it is swords that come through. They get smelted by the lava, provided by the lava farm, farm behind. And, you know, it goes and just gives us a few extra ingots. Uh, sorry, nuggets. Words are hard. So, we're just going to go and quickly blip, 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 oh, that, that's wasting lava. Uh, blip, 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 blip. I really should just use my shulker boxes, really, shouldn't I? Just go and uh, fill my inventory, or empty my inventory, I should say. Blip, 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 and blip. Couple of buckets on the ground, but, you know, we'll go and get those in a second. So, that is basically what is providing a few extra nuggets for our farm. Which, you know, it won't go and make the, uh, like, the biggest of differences. But when you go and see, there's there's quite a few here right now from all the swords and everything. It does go and help. Now, the next improvement I do want to go and do on this, I'll probably do this off camera, is take actually the feed from one of these ingot chests, uh, which will probably be the second feed, if I'm honest, which will be one, two, three, this one here. And what I want to do is I want to go and loop that back towards the lava farm, and that will be our piglin bartering farm. We'll go and get them to spawn, capture them in boats, and then put them in there. The other thing we want to go and do as well is pull a couple of villagers from the overworld, go and put them here. So we'll probably go and pull them from where the iron farm is, and go and put them here as clerics, so then we can trade the rotten flesh. Actually, over here would probably be more logical, because this is where the flesh is. I go and build this a lot. I've also got my mask on for some reason. Hang on. There we go. Brand new skin. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. So that's going to go and do it for this episode. I do go and hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it's a little bit all over the place. But as I say, I'm trying to go and catch you up and go and start the new project. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please leave us a like on the video. If you are new, consider subscribing. And I will see you all in the next episode.